Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever the case may be. This is Luann from Blackberry Rock Crafts. Um, here's another installment of Women Who Make Sense. And this is from um, Mork Bastet uh, in 1958, I do believe. Let me see. Yeah, April 1958. Uh, this is a pan drum pecan. Or pecan, however you want to pronounce it. Quite by accident, I discovered that with the shelled pecan or pecan, some black ink, a free few scraps of felt, lace, or whatever you have, and pin back, it was possible to evolve a clever little costume ornament. One day, I absentmindedly draw drew human features on the smooth surface of a pecan or pecan. As I sat waiting for ideas to write up the week's news for our local paper. As I looked at the feminine face that emerged, I thought how cute she would look dressed in a hat of the gay 90s. No sooner said than done. Out with a few felt scraps, my needle and thread, some feathers, some liquid cement, a pin back, and I was ready for action. After drawing the features on the smooth surface of the nut, set them aside to dry. The hats were made from a circle of felt cut to fit the top of the nut. I cut a small circle out of the center stitch, a smaller circle to this for the crown, add a tiny bit of ribbon, feather, or ostrich plume. If you can find it, the hat is cemented to the top of the nut and the pin back to the side opposite of the face. Give your little lady a gay neck scarf, and she is ready to act as a conversation piece from a vantage point on your shoulder or as a clever place marker at, say, a bridal shower. These little novelties will sell readily for 75 cents, and the cost is practically nothing. Uh, Edna M. Pearson, Peterson is the one who sent that in. Let's see if I can get that. And that is sort of... I guess what it looks like. So that's a good idea, but I don't have no access to pecans or pecans. And mainly, unless it's shelled and it's perfectly cracked, um, because we eat pecans, pecans uh, around here. So that is it for today. So see y'all later and have a very blessed, crafty week. Bye.